We going? Yeah. Yeah. I'll get my uh, my body, my future bodily fluids. Mm. Hydration, dude. You're welcome to this tea if you want. Yeah, it's nice to be back. I'm the guy on the right. <laughs> the guy on the left, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're always going out there. So, yeah, the spherical nature, dude, we have to pass on the idea. We repeat the idea so that it gets into people's ideas, and people's minds. So spherical nature, like, the universe itself doesn't rotate. There was a physicist that thought that, uh, that the universe rotated, and then he could use little strings of the universe to create time travel. But they found out later that the universe doesn't really rotate, but it expands and contracts. So we're like these minds, just in the center of the sphere. And the sphere, you know, being the universe, there's the visible universe and the universe we can't really see. And that's, that's, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Remember when um, Thomas was mad at you calling what we're talking about here science? That's because there's a difference between science and metaphysics. Metaphysics explains, tries to explain the unknowable. And that's what you do. That's what you do in the videos. It's metaphysics. It's not science because science tries to go by the observable and say like, okay, this is a lighter. This is a mug with tea in it. And it observes little things and tells you what the tea is made of and the, the cup and the lighter. And the metaphysics can say, <laughs> metaphysics can say, dude, this is, this is a mug. It was created by forces that we don't know about because this brain gel was coming down, the creator of the mug, you know, inside of the mind of the creator of the mug, and they made him create this. It compelled him to do it because of the phases of the moon and because, you know, he wanted to create something cylindrical. And so we can say those things. That would be metaphysical and that would be something that is different from... Okay. So, well, I was thinking, like... Um... What it, what it really comes to in this for this dichotomy between physics and metaphysics or science and metaphysics is the the levels of the sphere. Yeah. So what get, we're trying to perceive, yeah, because there's spheres inside of spheres and thought inside of thought. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, because the the, the scientists operate on one sphere, and that is the objective reality. That's what we we think. See, people like us, we think that the objective reality doesn't exist, but it does exist. It's one of the several spheres. But they can only see that one because we're thinking in terms outside of the box. We think outside of that sphere. So do we make spheres like in, right here in front of us? Is there a sphere of dark matter that we create with an idea just by looking at it? or Maybe it's already there. Maybe it was already there. We're just discovering it. That's cool. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's our perception when we create. think we're creating that. Maybe we just opened the doors to perception to something completely different. That's cool. Oh, hey, I see you got the little light. This one. Whee! So that's 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 really cool. It's like just like old time. You know? I'd love to get a, a, a mobile camera because I like how to burp and stuff. This is just bring out your gas. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I don't think you can transmit uh, sense through video, but one day you're going to be able to. Or maybe you could have. Maybe that's a, a source of revenue. You could have like the little scratch and sniff cards that you can sell to the YouTube pe people who watch your videos. <laughs> and when you and once you do something, then they scratch and sniff and, and they go well along with you. interactivity. Yeah, it, it's a clunky way. Like it's great if you can integrate the interactivity into the screen somehow. Yeah. But technology is a jealous bitch. Technology doesn't, you know, it's something. It's something that if. It, it, Ah, it's so many levels of compatibility. Like, this is, is this an MP3? Is this a bass tuner, right? This is a bass tuner. I was thinking if it was like an MP3 player. It can't play LP records. Yeah, there's your iPhone. Uh, you, you, you can't uh, print out of that. That doesn't do what a printer does. So these things are very specific. In the future, all these technologies are going to be integrated into one thing. It might be the Alpha Android. Like a, a, a body that is also a screen that you can interact with? You can do it. Yeah, you can do everything. And then, and then maybe transhumanism. So, I, I mean, we definitely are different than the apes, but it's hard to say. But you know what? This is something that I, I hear a lot of people say, you know, when people are stupid and or do stupid things, people who don't think much, people say, you're stupid, you look like an, you look like an ape to those people. And the more, the more you're th looking at these retarded people and thinking of apes, the more you're actually making them look like retarded apes. So you're turning them into complete retards yeah. just by looking at them and thinking, you're an ape. Interesting. And they might pull out a banana and start eating it. 
and that might be a good thing. <laughs> that might be a good thing. It's only two points. A banana is only two points in the way to watch your calories, you know. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I'm trying to follow that. I mean, look at you and look at me. I mean, I need, I need to lose the weight. Wait, um, yeah, weight. Because I was carrying the weight of responsibility lately and, and, and it turned into weight on my body. But I, I don't want to talk about that into, into the video until I have a chance to explain to people in my own account, you know, what's going on in my life. I haven't been doing a whole lot of that. But we, we, oh. we're going to cover the hate, not the hate, the anger thing. We should cover that because we only got 10 minutes. I don't know how much longer we have. Yeah, probably about 10. Um, oh, well, on the video maybe, well, I mean, we can run cross back and just make it 15 or we can split it. Sure, sure. But what I was going to say is like anger. People are more afraid of love than anger. I agree with that. All right, it's it's definitely one way that a lot of people are. I bet because because of the attachment involved with love. Like, oh yeah, they're afraid of the attachment because the weight. there's only yeah the weight and there's only so much of us to go around. I mean, what's what if suddenly? It, it, I think that you've expressed that you mirrored that idea uh, once in your videos that what if everybody out there who's watching you wanted to become dependent on you and you know. They couldn't do anything without asking. Or that would be horrible. Yeah. That would be a cult mentality. Yeah, yeah, man. That's why I, I, I live alone. And, and, like, because people pulling is, like, I mean, it's probably even inadvertent at times. It's, like, when we think the same kind of things or have from different back, or just, I don't know, different different um, sensory opening levels. Like, we probably grab through other people with, like, different cones of sensory. Like, if you think of, like, you can see that much light on a scale from, like, 18... 1,800,000 to, to, you know, it would be like that shape. Mm -hmm. kind of, if you look at it, or whatever. Um, and probably right. further if you go see. So, would other people have the similar shape of way of perceiving? You mean more of a wavelength thing? Because you're yeah, talking you about wavelength. Yeah, certain numbers of wavelength from yeah. like 10,000 to 5,500. Right. A frequency yeah. range. Yeah. Oh, that's a different way of thinking. Yeah, frequency. Yeah, yeah because frequencies can also be measured in waves, so. So, like, when you open yourself mm -hmm. to a lot of it, other people, maybe even to come in here or here or anywhere within there, are like, mm -hmm. I resonate with that guy. So then they want to be friends, and it's like, that's it's, love. That's, that is love. But it's all, love tends to be demanding because there's also a level of uh, possessiveness to it. Time? Yeah, it's so weird. Man. That's you why can't share. Not we don't have the time. It's like... It's we don't have time to be, you know, what everybody wants us to be. <laughs> Each individual, yeah, it's a real group effort. Like different people take on big, different roles. Yeah. So Sometimes the best way to do something within a group is to be selfish. To, to, you know, to put your goal, uh, make your goal a priority, and not get involved in helping other people's goals, because then you can do the best that you can do for yourself. Put your rational self-interest above everything. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Like one out of six times, or something. I don't like, actually, you know, I shouldn't use the, the word sometimes, uh, we, but I would say probably almost all of the time, because he, he, if you take, okay, if everybody's working on a project together, you take time out from your project to help somebody else, your projects might not not get done, your part of the project might not get done. So the project as a whole suffers. Just do your best, the best that you can do. You know, live your life for your own self, and don't don't live for anybody else and don't make anybody else live for you because then you're stealing. And then, you know, it's like, like you're, then you're stealing and then those alarms from shoplifting alarms are going to go off and they're going to want to stay away from you because you're taking away. That's, see, that's the reversal of what happened. Okay. So when, when people, um, I, like, I felt like I knew what you were saying so well that I wasn't, um, that the words didn't matter. I think so, yeah. It happens all the time. I go to class and the professor starts explaining the stuff I already know, and in reality he's explaining for everybody else. So I get bored and I hear my mind goes elsewhere. Yeah, so you just got, you. so yeah. But uh, you're, you're talking about like uh, expecting stuff from people, how it, how it wears them down, and then they're just like, get that off me, that spot. Yeah, you got, you know, yeah. But that's why I noticed, for example, you don't like it when people focus on you. It's exhausting. I mean, it's fun too. It's, it's and it, the, you meet the friends you can meet and stuff. It's like, yeah, but but it's like when people are commenting on the video, for example, sometimes people go, you know, I don't, I hate that sometimes thing. Time is infinite. How can it be sometimes? Um, like this is this is always here. Yeah, 
it but may be always there. there. But if you, I mean, it, it, you may think that it's not there if you move it. But if the universe contracts and expands and eventually curves upon itself and everything starts over again with time, then it's always going to be there yeah. for countless billions of years. See, this cup is in my hand. I'm holding it for countless billions of years. That's why life is so precious. It's great. Yeah. To do the best with you can with your life. So, when you, I, I, I do agree with that mainly, in, internally, integrally. Um, what were you saying? That sometimes people do. Yeah, sometimes people comment on, and, you know, and put too much emphasis on you instead of the idea. And I notice that you, it, that's when you shut off to them. Oh, cool. I notice you, you particularly doing that. And, and I think that you should not be afraid of those people. You just, you know, should establish the ba boundaries and, and not let, let them steal the soul of Ian. You know what I mean? Okay. And um, I... I would also like to say that I think that uh, all your metaphysical exploring is valid on, this, on the level of metaphysics. It's not science because you can't rewrite, you know, human physiology. Like when you're talking about the brain gel, okay? Yeah. That doesn't happen on the physical world. I mean, I, I, that nothing's, there's no one going to say that it can't happen in an energy level where you have a mess of energy. No, it's coming down like a, a feeling like gel because it, that's what it, it, it's being perceived as. But it, 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 you can't call that science. You have to make make sure that people understand that metaphysics is just as important because that's the that's the back door, that's behind the curtains of science, and that's something people don't often explore. I was thinking too. It, it's it's like the, the the city at the end of the path, at the building that you're headed to. It's like, yeah, I love I water. Castle. <laughs> Yeah, you have pretty good eyes. Perception, and there's trust. Metaphysics is a lot about trust. Um, I, I it's do an instinctive thing. It's it's an instinctive thing. You have to feel more. See, science thinks with the mind, with the with the the the, the brain. Uh, metaphysics thinks with the soul. I, I would say like that. I might be wrong about that, but I'm sure somebody's gonna comment on the. In the uh, in the comments down here that uh, you know that I'm wrong or this and that and the comments are cool. I don't think you should ever block anybody uh, unless they're out really out to out to get me. then then you block. Sometimes it's like more than four times and I'm like maybe it's my fault for not doing variety in my videos. Doing what? Like variety. Oh no, you don't, you can't you can't do that. You, I mean you you can't psychologize why they're doing yeah, this. It's right. just, you know, you can't understand somebody's motivation. I mean, people are stupid because they're stupid. They're not there because they don't have a reason. If you, if you, if you latch on to their stupidity, you're going to go with it. You're going to validate. Yeah, or, like, it's cool, too, because like, it's like a weight pulling on your arm, which is awesome for your arm mm -hmm. if it's sustained. Yeah. But I guess when it gets vigorously pulled, I'm like, okay, hold on. <laughs> Do something but else listen, for a minute. I just want to say one thing since we're on the subject of comments and people that you block. I think you may not realize this from the things that are said, but I think that Thomas is probably one of the best friends that you could have because he's got, he doesn't really fall for the metaphysics thing, but on the scientific level, you know, he's got your, you know, the best interest of truth in his heart. I don't think that you, you know, that you and he should fight. I mean, he gets frustrated. Um, because you call this science or call this evolution, if you call it, you know, a, a metaphysical uh, evolution of your metaphysical thought, it might be a different thing. I just wanted to put that out there, that idea out there, you know. So, what is metaphysical evolution? Well, that's a good, that's a good question. I'd say that will be uh, in in your case, everything that you've ever done in all of your videos has shown a, a, an evolution of your metaphysical view of life. Oh, okay. So while metaphysics itself is, uh, it may not have evolved for everybody, yours did. Oh, not for everybody, I don't know, for uh, more than two people. You know, because you, oh. you, you do get people who, you know, watch your videos and say, oh, Ian's full of this, you know, uh, full of it, and it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you do it and that you enjoy doing it, okay? Yeah. And if I laugh at some of what you say because I, I think it's hilarious or... Or, or if they laugh, I mean, it doesn't change. It, you know, it doesn't change the individual experience of it. You, that's true. It's the camera, dude. It's like being yourself in front of the camera and just letting the camera roll. Yeah. I was, I'll bet you anything. If any of those people out there did that as much as you do, everybody would have plenty of things to say about what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's a great, like... It's, it's, it's great. 
And I'm, you know, uh, I love doing it. If I had time right now, I mean, with everything that I've been working oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have, I have got to make... I have got to make uh, 60 paintings by the end of October, so I, I should probably not be spending as much time, you know, uh, out of the house as I, I, I've been doing today. But I, I have school also, and I have a lot of things to do. Uh, how's your life? It's great. Uh, I've been, you know, financially always searching for a way, and it's like looking for a good, integrated way into what I like to do. But I'm making stuff. We should make a painting together and sell it on eBay. You could get some money from that. We should both, yeah, we split it. That'd yeah. be great, dude. Yeah, well, you, I think that would be fair. Oh, yeah, I mean, we've already talked about We should get, like, this week we should do a uh, like group combo or something like that. That would be nice. I, I'll see if I can get to, some of the people together. And uh, uh, But as far as the like painting actually goes, I mean, I mean, I... The painting, uh, we should figure out when to do it. We, I, we might, I might bring some of my stuff here, and we, we, and we do it in front of the camera, and then we auction it off on the eBay. Probably get some kooks on eBay, but I'll... It'd be fun. <laughs> but it'd be funny. <laughs> when we were auctioning off the, the blue cup, or was it the, the pink, pink cup? cup? Or? I was just thinking about that, man. Look, it's like, um... Yeah, it was such a goof thing. Like, you fall through it. I want to sell. It's like... Well, I don't know if you're getting... Were you going through a period where, you know, you thought you were a celebrity, that people wanted to collect Yeah, I was, I was looking stuff? at my views, and it was, like, up to, like, 2,000 or 4,000 or something at some points. And I was like, okay, that's a lot of people to get a good sample of what people are like. So I was like, what would happen... Is it recording? Let me check it. Yeah, yeah. It's all the way over there, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Dang. Um, <laughs> it's raining outside. Beginning to rain outside. That's great. Yeah, I know. I need water all the time. So I'm on complete calorie reduction. I'm on Weight Watchers. I'm lifting weights. Lifting weights is awesome for me. It is because I'm a mesomorph. I, I gain muscle really quick. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So. But anyway, to to finish this this story, I, I was just doing kind of almost like an experiment to mm. see what what how people well one is how people would react, mm. which was yeah that's emotional you know but yeah but it touches emotions. The other is what people would do. Not how they act, but what they do. What, like, what, who bids on it? Like, if the numbers involved with, like, the amounts of people involved. And it was a broken experiment. It, it was, it was like, mixing those two is not, you know, that's when people get emotional about it. It's like, it wasn't science. It was like, almost like a mean trick. I mean, it's like a 23 cent cup or no, $100 no, no, no. probably. Two for here's, the, here's the thing about capitalism it's not how much it costs to make, it's how much you can get for it. That's that's an important thing because see they they always say that one man's trash is you know another man's treasure, so who knows maybe somebody is obsessed with you and you yeah, know that's the weird part. and uh, and stalks you enough to want to pay a lot for this cup. Well, I didn't sell the cup. I, I threw the other one away. And this one's not sold because. Mm. That's but I do have another question. Stuff. You you for a moment there you had a cafe press um, store. Oh, yeah. And you didn't like you didn't like that. Why? Uh, it was like junky. It was like. It was, it was like crap. Magnets was like so like crap, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know, if it was like a, I mean, it, was, it would be like a clock with my face for my headshot on it or something. I'm just waving because I, I got all by myself here over here. All right, let's you want to show this. them the, what you have so far? The, the painting? It's coming together. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think that you have an interesting composition there. Um... We should do one together. I have, you know, I have hundreds of canvases in my place because um, that's why we live up with our art. Yeah. Remember when we were used to say, you know, the only thing worth money is art, and we used to say that back and forth because we we're repeating the idea. Uh, it's a good idea, art, mm. artism, dude. But I gotta go. I'm thinking of the time. So All right. So I guess we gotta go, and uh, yeah.